everyone. First of all, let me kick this video off by apologizing for the lack of content that I've had out as of the last week or so. Now, the first the, the two weeks leading up to this week, uh, I managed to get a, a decent level of consistency of getting content out on YouTube. I was putting at the very, very least one video a day out, sometimes three videos a day, which is the kind of direction I want my YouTube channel to go in, and certainly Tech Planet 30. Um, however, once again, the kids were off school for holiday, for the Halloween holiday, and Vicky took a week off as well, and she was upstairs decorating uh, the kids' bedroom, that type of thing. So the kids didn't really have anywhere else to play other than downstairs, and it was just virtually impossible to try and make a video without having the background noise of kids killing each other, pulling their hair, breaking their toys, that type of thing. So I really apologise for that, guys, but unfortunately, that's just, you know, it, it's just the way things are for me. I, I find it very difficult to be able to find a quiet time in the day when the kids are off school and they're at home. Um, that being said, going forward now hopefully things will get back to normal, a certain level of consistency and the, you know the videos will get back to the way they were the, f uh, the first two weeks there. Uh, certainly at least up until the Christmas holidays and then things will kind of slow off again because the kids will be here. Now the reason why I wanted to make this video is because um, it would appear that the way we view our media is changing. Uh, no longer do we want what the, the networks are dictating, the, you know, putting on the our free view boxes or our cable boxes or sky boxes, that type of thing. People want to, you know, there's a vast variety of uh, video content out there that we can watch. And, you know, we don't want to be sitting on a computer screen all day watching this. People want this now on their TVs. They want to be able to view what the internet can offer them. And there's a whole range of different uh, options out there for that. Apple have just re revamped their Apple TV. Google and Sony have combined together and produced Google TV. Um, <clears throat> and they're great options. And there's other options as well. Uh, as well. Western Digital have a, a set-top box that's going to give you uh, media experience from the internet as well. Now... Um, on top of that, we also have things like for Mac users, we've got Front Row, which is a media player. We have um, Windows users have got their media player. And Linux users, they've got a, a, a few, few choices to choose from as well for various different distributions. Now, all that being said, basically all they do is they, they pull off the content that you already have on your computer. But, like I say, you know people want more than that. The likes of YouTube, Netflix, that type of thing. Now there's two applications that I can think of that you can download, they're free of charge, they are um, cross platform so you can download them for Linux, Windows or Mac and that is Boxy and Plex. Now Boxy has been reviewed quite a lot on YouTube at the minute uh, and various different blogs and I believe that mid-November um, a set top box is available from Boxy as well which will obviously, you know, up there aren't they? and it give a, a, a different dimension to their view and experience. This video is about Plex. I personally find out of the two of them, I've used both of them, Plex a little bit easier to set up um, and maintain and aesthetically speaking I think it's a slightly better looking UI. But that's just my own personal opinion and in terms of me finding Plex easier to set up over Boxy. That could be something I'm doing wrong uh, within Boxy or it could be just something to do with the fact that I'm a UK user because Boxy seems to be quite aimed at uh, the US at the minute in terms of the level of content that it can offer you. So let's crack on straight away with Boxy. Now, first thing, when you start up Boxy, you can see here that the UI is quite aesthetically pleasing. You can use your uh, Apple remote for this. Uh, whether it's the white one or the silver one and as you're going up here these are just kind of like the generic help files that type of thing and quit preferences here as well now with preferences all that is really is sorry just let me turn this down with preferences all that really is is your audio um, tuners or you can download some different kind of you know like the skins that you used to be able to download for the windows media player just it's just sort of visually uh it's customizable to your tastes when you're setting it up all my media content from itunes is on an external hard drive um when plex first of all initiates and starts up it asks you to direct plex 
to where your media content is. It'll ask you for your TV shows, your music and your movies individually. Uh, and so you can do that and once it does that it pulls it all off and you're good to go. Now as you can see here in TV shows, I'll just go to all shows. You can see there the, the type of setup it is. Now it is really aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't pull off the same uh, album art as uh, iTunes. It, it tends to find its own album art uh, as you can see here. Because all this stuff that I have has been downloaded off iTunes originally. Uh, and Plex is just kind of borrowing it, so, so to speak. Uh, so that's the TV shows. Music is exactly the same. Uh, movies exactly the same. Now, applications is a little bit different. If, obviously, you wanted to watch a DVD, then it pulls off the, the media software that you already have on your system. So in my case, DVD player, front row. Gives you the option of being able to use front row or DVD player if, like I say, you're, you're inserting a DVD in to watch. Now, picture plugins, music plugins, and video plugins are what really enhance Plex's uh, user experience, I suppose. Now, in all three plugins, what it'll do, first of all, it'll pull off the software that's already on your system that will help for uh, images being downloaded or viewing images on the big screen. So in my case, it's picked up Aperture and iPhoto. But these are other ones that I can download, like the National Geographic, the Big Picture, the White House. Uh, Flickr's another one. I haven't got around to downloading that just yet. But they're all free. And like I say, they you know they, they enhance your viewing experience. Music plugins as well. Video plugins for me is probably the, 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 the best feature in it. I can watch all the different uh, episodes that are on 4OD, like Black Books and um, Father Ted, all those types of things. You can also choose uh, Adobe TV, Apple Movie Trailers, CNN, Hulu, Netflix, uh, NBC, Revision 3, Warner Brothers, White House, uh, YouTube, Twit TV, uh, loads and loads and loads of different things are that you can... Uh, choose from the like I say these are just a, this is just a small selection there's many many more selections on there that you can uh, download if you want another great feature about Plex is you can download from the App Store a uh, Plex app for your iPad and for your iPhone now in the Plex um, remote it basically it turns your iPad into a remote and your iPhone into a remote as well now as you can see here you can use this kind of surface area here for flicking up or you can just use the arrows up and down, that type of thing. But one of the really, really neat features about this type of application is, if I click on library, as you can see here, it gives you a list of different, like the, your music files, your TV files, and uh, movie files. So if I click on movie files, it's gonna give me a list of all my movies there. As you can see, it's not doing anything on the application on the screen. Click all movies. Brings up a list of my movies. You can see all the, the little icons down the side there. Uh, and th this is exactly the same for the, um, the iPhone. I can get whatever movies are on my library content pulled off and watched on the likes of my iPad or my iPhone. So that's a pretty neat feature in itself. Now I'm not too sure whether Boxy offers this type of feature or not. I'm sure it probably does. But this is... Um, it's just the way media is going now. I can watch all the stuff. Instead of trying to put movies on my iPad and taking up a hard drive, I've got it all there. And it's not going to mess about with uh, the space on my um, iPad. And that's really it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Like I say, guys, thank you so much for your patience and your support. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. And um, don't forget, go across the Tech Planet 30. Things are back to normal now. And uh, that's it. Thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate all your support. Bye.